Hi everyone, welcome back to a new rituals class. My name is Laura, I'm going to be your instructor for this Pilates class. Expect some of the basic Pilates movements, so we're going to work on a strong core, because we believe a strong core means a strong body, and a strong body means a strong mind. It's a very nice class to do maybe three or five, four times a week, so you really work on that core strength and a nice strong body. Enjoy! So we will start with some breathing awareness. It's good in this practice to breathe in through the nose and to breathe out through the mouth. Let's do it one more time. Breathe out through the mouth. Breathing in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Breathing in here. And on your exhale, we can move on all fours. And as we breathe in, we're, we're gonna do some cat-cow movements. So as we inhale, we drop the belly down, pushing the chest up, look up. And exhale, round the spine and push yourself away from the floor. Inhale, drop the belly down, chest up, look up. Exhale round the spine and push yourself away from the floor. Breathe in. And out. Two more times. In. And out. Inhale, drop the belly down. Chest up, look up. Exhale. In. And out. And sit yourself on your hips for an active resting pose. It's like a child's pose, but active. So you um, bring your knees mat wide and you push yourself back. And from here, you can move onto your, onto your hips in a seated position. And you can bring your, the soles of your feet together on the floor and be knees bent, and you hold your knees. And we're going to do some um, C-spine stretches so, to make you aware of the abdominal muscles that you need in this class. So from here, as you breathe in, you pull yourself back from out the abs like as if you want to hug a big ball. So you go back, you really pull onto your knees, and then as you exhale, you make a straight spine, so you come up. Breathe in, pull and bring those abs in, rounding the spine, and exhale, straight spine, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. And from here you can bring yourself down to the mat for the first exercise of this sequence. So you can maintain a neutral spine here. That means that you can have some space under the neck and under the lower back. So your lower back doesn't have to be on the mat. You bring your hand palms down on the mat. You bend your knees and you lift them up in tabletop position. Tabletop means your knees are stacked above the hips and the shins are parallel to the mat. And from here, we lift our shoulders and our head off the floor, but try to lift from out the abs. So if you use your neck too much, you're gonna have pain in the neck. So really try to lift from the abs. And you don't have to bend your neck too much, just 
look at your belly button, but also don't try to hold the neck here because it's too heavy on the neck. So try to feel that neutral position here. And from here, you reach your hands forward with the fingertips to the back of the mat, and we're gonna pump here. So it's five times, you pump for five times as you breathe in, and you pump for five times as you exhale, and we're gonna do it for a hundred times because it's called the hundreds. You can come up a bit higher, so you can make it more intense. In, out for another four, three, two, one, and relax your the soles of your feet back on the mat. Look towards the right. Look to, towards the left to get rid of the tension in your neck. If you're a beginner at this, maybe you feel a lot of tension in the neck. That will change after doing it for a while. So this is a great routine to do maybe every day or maybe four times a week. So you can really train the core. Let's go to the second exercise. Bring the soles of your feet maybe a little bit further away from you. And from here, we reach our arms up towards the ceiling. And again, we bring the head and the shoulders away from the mat. We're gonna do a roll up. So as you, inha you inhale here, and as you exhale, you come up. It doesn't matter if your feet come off the floor a little bit. You inhale, you come up, make a straight spine and exhale, you round down and bring those arms next to the ears. Inhale, come up, and exhale, come down, vertebra by vertebra, so slowly as you can. Let's do it four more times. So inhale, come up, exhale, roll yourself all the way up. Inhale, straight spine, exhale, round down, inhale, Straight spine, exhale, rounding down. Inhale, come up, exhale, rounding up from the core. Inhale, straighten the spine, exhale. Coming up, exhale, rounding down. Inhale, come up, exhale, rounding up from the core. Inhale, straighten the spine, exhale. Coming up and exhale. Two more times. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale straight, exhale. Inhale up, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale, lower down. Look to the right, to the left. And take a big breath here. From here, we'll do a single leg stretch. So as you breathe in, you, or you can bring your legs in tabletop position again. As you breathe in, bring your right knee into the chest and lift up the shoulders and the head. Then you straighten your left knee, and from here you inhale, and you really pull yourself up. Exhale, change. Inhale, pull yourself up. Exhale, change. Inhale, pull yourself up. Change. Pulling yourself up. Three more times. Pulling yourself up. Pulling yourself up. Pull up. Pulling up. Last time. Pull yourself up as high as you can. Pull yourself up and change. Bring your head on the floor. Look to the right, towards the left. So if you want to challenge yourself, you can do a double leg stretch. Legs in tabletop position, neutral spine. 
raising yourself up again. And from here, as we, we breathe in, bring yourself up. And as you breathe out, you stretch out your arms overhead and your legs overhead. Breathe out. Okay, let's do it five times. Breathe in, lift yourself up and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, stretch. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Last time, breathe in, give it your all. Come up, come up, come up and breathe out. And lower your legs down to the floor. Bring the soles of your feet together, bending the knees. So we have two more exercises for the abs, so hold on. From here, bring your hand palms into the floor again. And this time we stretch out our legs towards the ceiling. So from here, raise up as you inhale, raise up the shoulders and the neck again. And we're gonna pull our right leg in and bringing the left leg down. So from here again, you inhale and you pull, exhale, change. Inhale, you pull, exhale, change. Let's do it five more times. Inhale, pull, change. 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 Two more times, come on. Come up higher, change, higher, change. Inhale, change, inhale, change. Bending those knees, bring the soles of your feet together. Look to the right, towards the left. Already done for the last exercise. Bring those legs in tabletop position again. And this time you can place your hands under the head. So you can bring the left hand over the right. And you wanna keep your uh, elbows towards the side. So don't bring them in and don't ever pull on the neck. And from here, we lift up from the abs again. So lift up the chest, the shoulders and the neck. And what we're gonna do here is we're, you're gonna kick out your left leg and you bring the left elbow towards the right knee. So bring the right knee in and bring the left elbow towards the right knee. And then you change, inhale, exhale. Change, inhale, exhale. Okay, so from here, let's do it five times. Let's begin with kicking out the left leg. So you um, bring your left, left elbow towards the right knee. There we go. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, change. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Three more times and really lift out from out the core. So don't try to bend your elbows towards the knees. Last two. Inhale, inhale, and you're done. You can bring the knees into the chest, look towards the right, towards the left. And from here, grab the in the outer thighs and roll yourself up into a seated position. From here, lower down on your belly from a plank. Maybe you wanna hold the plank for a couple of seconds and then you bend your elbows and you lower yourself down on the floor. We're gonna do a nice extension for the abs after the flexion. So you bring your um, hand palms under the shoulders and you keep a straight spine. So whenever you come up, you don't um, pull the head backwards and bend your neck, but just keep it straight. And from here, we breathe in, pushing ourselves up, bending the back, and really try to come up from out the core and exhale, lower down. Inhale, come up again. Keep those shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, lower down. Three more times, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 
exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Lower yourself down and push yourself up to sitting on your knees. And from here, you bring your right hand towards the left, bending the left hand and really try to stretch the shoulder. One more breath and change. Stretching the neck with your right hand. Right ear towards the right shoulder. Mm, you might need this after this class. Other side. And from here, breathe in, lift your hands up towards the ceiling and twist to the right. One more breath here. Inhale, extend, exhale, twist. Inhale, raise your arms up again and twist towards the left. Inhale, come up, exhale, twist some more. Inhale, raise your arms up. And exhale, you're done for today. I hope you liked this um, core strengthening class. Uh, as I said before, it's a really nice class to do maybe three, four times a week. You will really see a difference in your core and in the rest of your body. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, hope to see you next time. Namaste.